Much has been said about Lamar's passing accuracy. I had a spirited debate this morning with someone about the progression of Josh Allen versus the progression of Lamar Jackson. And um, even without having that debate, I had planned on doing this video about Lamar's uh, deep passes versus um, the Jaguars. And so we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of about five plays where Lamar threw the ball down the field. That's right. <laughs> And before we get started, I want to thank the Patreon supporters. You guys make a lot of things happen on this channel, and without you guys, some of the things on this channel would not be possible. Uh, Brandon Bazell, Darius Daniels, Brandon Henderson, Joshua, Mark Van Burskirk, Alfred Provost, Jerry Green, Antoinette Craig, Random Shamo, and our newest member, Thomas Morgan. Thank you. So today's coming of the day comes from Thomas Morgan. He says, number 92 equals madman. Now I never have to spell his name again. And he's speaking on Justin Matabike. And that's based off the film from yesterday and the, the outstanding game he had. And mainly the outstanding second half he had. But uh, I appreciate your comment, Thomas, and uh, let's get started. Now to the film session of today's work. Uh, but before we get into it, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. After you hit the subscribe button, go over, click the bell, so you can be notified when these random videos drop. And if you notice throughout the week, it hadn't been a set time. It's just when I finish with them, when they process, when I edit them, then I load them. But without further ado, let's get right to it. Uh, first, uh, first pass is we setting it up. It's uh, first and ten, early in the. Uh, I want to say the first quarter. Yeah, early in the first quarter. Let's see what happens. Keep in mind, all these passes are. I think 20 plus yards down the, down the field. All right, so you got it like a, I think that's Hollywood that came in motion. So you got like a little rail type route from Hollywood. This is the interception. Yeah, that's Hollywood coming in motion. The Jaguars are in a, they got one high. So that could be three or one. But with all of them looking at Lamar right now, with the exception of this guy right here, I want to say it's cover three. But let's let's keep rolling and see. Fakes the the little play to Dobbins. You got Andrews working across here, and I think he's going to try and draw the safety. I think that's what Andrews is trying to draw the safety. Uh, he's manned up out here, and Hollywood's going to try to press him wide, and then stick it back inside. But I don't think this safety completely goes for it. Let's see what happens to Andrews first to see if that can draw the safety over. The safety stays in the middle. Okay, the safety stays in the middle. This guy drops out of there to take Andrews. So it is some form of cover three. So the safety never moved. Had the safety went over top of Andrews, he probably would have been wide open. Because if, if I'm not mistaken... Lamar's looking directly at that safety, trying to see what he's doing. And when he's opening up this way, that tells him, okay, now I got this route running through here. Then you see you see his eyes go back to Hollywood, you know, when I click the frame up. So now he's ready. He thinks that he has this guy open, and which honestly he does. If he leads Hollywood deeper, you'll see that that should have been a touchdown. So if he throws this ball out here, this guy can't get to it. If, if, if this ball is in the end zone anywhere, should be a touchdown. Because Hollywood's behind these guys. So he, he's short of the throw on it. I don't know if he put too much air on it or what. But the pocket's clean. The pocket's clean. And so as far as the read, yes, it's cover three. The safety opened his hips to, to try to get over top of Andrews. And the proper read was to come back to this post, you know, running through here. He just, you know, didn't hit the throw. Just didn't hit the throw. That's all that was. Did not hit the throw. And, you know, there's no other excuse or technical jargon or anything that I can give you. He just missed on the throw. And like I said, the pocket was clean. So let's go to the next one. See, do I have a setup for this one? Yes. Uh, first quarter still. 150 left. It's first and 10 on the 49. Oh, 
we got um maybe cover one or cover three i'm thinking thinking one now excuse me i'm thinking one but let's see Sneed motion, little uh, ride read with Sneed, three man wrap. So you got Sneed in the flats over here. You got Dobbins in the flats over here. This dude like he peeling off to get Dobbins. I don't know if anybody's gonna peel off to get Sneed, but as far as the routes, you got uh, I'm not sure who this is, but probably Andrews since he's in the middle <laughs> working here. Um, don't know. Who, I think this is Hollywood. This is I'm not sure who this is. Let's see. Let's keep it rolling. You can see LeBar looking down the field. Nobody's open yet. Uh, so right now, the only person that's really open is him, and he's not even looking that way. His eyes are either fixated on this route, which might be Dez, trying to see what's going to happen there. All right, he's not open. He's coming off of it. So you got a little curl route right here, which probably is open. Then you got Andrews working this this little vertical, vertical soft area right here. And I think this is where the ball is going. So he decides to just throw it up and give Andrews a chance. Now, without, you know, bashing Lamar, the ball probably should have came to this curl. Probably. Probably. Because this is a this is a higher percentage throw than the, this lob to Andrews. But the fact that he has extreme confidence in Andrews is the reason he throws this because Andrews has rewarded him on num on a number of occasions by going to get this ball, which is what he does right here. And this is just having trust in your guy, man. His, his back is turned, which which helps him, you know, okay, well, I can throw this because he's he not even looking at the ball. He's just trying to play through the man. Andrews makes a great catch. And which he, he do it all the time, so I can understand why he did that. He do it all the time. I can truly understand why he did it. Let's go on to the third play. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. There we go. Sec third and 10 from the 32. Got empty set. And again, trust in Andrews. Let's see what the route coming is. We get a pass interference. We don't get a lot of those. We don't get a lot of those. So you got an empty set, four to the bottom, four to the right, one to the left. Jaguars again in some kind of hybrid coverage because you got like a two shell. So is this two man? No, it's not two man because these guys are all, all these guys. Let's see, I can't. All these guys are in zone. <laughs> this dude's in man. So, trying to fool Lamar. Now, with that being said, with the type of shell this is, Andrews, you know, has, is basically one on one with this safety. Basically, one on one with this safety, because he's covered, he's covered, he's covered, he's covered. And honestly, this is the only option. Whether you throw it, whether you throw it out here or deep here, that was the only options you had. And um, Lamar chose to go over top. Andrews does a good job of getting past him with a little, you know, throwing the guy's arms down. And that kind of helped out on the pass interference. Because I think Andrews initiated this. No, he didn't. Andrews didn't initiate it. He grabbed the guy. He grabbed Andrews. So, honestly, Andrews just, just blew past him, really. Blew past him. And I, I'm, I'm really a component of, and I don't know if they're going to do this or not, but on these pass interference calls, this guy should get receiving yards and the quarterback should get passing yards. Because the defenders just grab them. Just grab them. And these, these pass interference, uh, you know, even they may catch it or may not, but still, I think this should be into your stats because that's a big, big thing. That, and if he did that with Torrey Smith, Torrey Smith probably have another another 1,800 yards on, on his stats because he always got pass interference. But let's go on to the next one. Play four. Two by two, got Dobbins coming in motion. Fake the jet sweep, which is good because we ran this play. We ran the jet sweep a lot. So, you know, it's good to have a, a pass off of it, a play action pass off of it. All right now, running wide open. I don't really know where you're going to break it. I think this is Dez. He's covered. Um, Hollywood got off the jam right here on somebody. 
with his with his back's turned, so we you know hopefully we hit Hollywood up the sideline right here. Yeah, Hollywood's still open, but he got pressure. He got pressure on this one. Got pressure off the edge. So now we got to improvise. Made him miss. Eyes still looking down the field. Hollywood's still open. Now you got whoever this is coming open too. Steps up in the pocket, keeps his eyes down the field. Throws a strike. That's Gus. Throws a strike to Gus. Let's see what Gus starts at. Oh, and this is the play the announcer said they saw them run this in practice. And everybody got the ball but Gus. They ran it like three or four times. Everybody got the ball but Gus. But because of this pressure, I think he missed this. This could have been six off the bat because Hollywood got a good release. Let's see what kind of release Hollywood got. If I can show it down there. Oh, good with the hands. Swiping of the hands made because the DB lunged. And it's over with. So if you could have had a clean pocket, that would have been probably would have been a touchdown and make a good throw on Hollywood. And probably still had a touchdown if he saw him. I guess he just didn't see him. But that's a great, great release by Hollywood right there. But he got the Gus. You know, we'll take that. We'll take it. We'll take it. Under pressure, still looking down the field. Because easily, you know, the pundits say he probably would just take off and run that situation, but he didn't. It's going to play five. Play five right here. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead. And I've been on this dude so hard. So, so hard. I've been on this cat, like, like hard, hard. Even to the point where I've, you know, reduced myself to calling him Marquise. But let's just focus on him right quick. To, to just, just on this play. Speed. 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 The release on the, the previous play was better. The release on the previous play was better. Now, the, I got positive and negatives. You know, based off this, then we go back to Lamar. He come off the ball with a little, whatever his little move is. Didn't win with the hands that time, so dude kind of pushed him out. So now, at this point right now, the dude gonna try to use the sideline to kind of, you know, help him out. But the positive thing about this is Hollywood is so fast. The negative part of it is instead of running this straight flat line, I would have rather him get back here. That way it gave Lamar more room to to lead him left to the sideline, so to speak. Because Lamar's going to drop it over his shoulder. But because Hollywood's so close to the sideline, it's just going to take him right out of the bounds. Had Hollywood got back on this line right here, because he's going to run past this dude. And Lamar lead him over his shoulder, he may be able to gather and go ahead and score. See how, see how tight he is to the sideline? If he get up in here, it's different. Those little two or three yards make a difference. When he catches the ball, so he catches it right here. Imagine if he catches this ball right here and can get his footing before he goes out of bounds and then goes score. Now, but let's go back to Lamar. That's what we're talking about. Good pocket. Good pocket. No play action, just straight drop back. Straight drop back. Andrew's covered. Uh, I think this is Boykin up here. He's starting to win. Hollywood's not winning yet. But I think he's just going to Hollywood because he didn't even look anywhere else. Didn't even look anywhere else. And see what I'm saying? How he he, he dropped it over his shoulder. But had Hollywood been up here and he dropped it over his shoulder, he could have got it, you know, gathered himself and then went on down the sideline for a long touchdown. But we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. And the thing is, you know, Lamar been getting criticized about throwing. You know, all his entire career so far. But these are just little simple things that that he did in the Ravens game. Obviously, that first throw was was not long enough, or it had too much air on it, or it was it was a missed throw. Uh, he had some other throws where he you know kept his eyes downfield and did some things that traditional quarterbacks do. Uh, the play, the pass to Gus, he did some stuff that non traditional quarterbacks can't do. He made a guy miss. And instead of just taking off and running or getting rid of it, he kept his eyes down the field and hit Gus. And then on this play right here, this is what we want him to do sometimes. Straight drop back, throw a dime. So, again, this is Coach Evans with, with what episode is this for the week? This is film three. Film three for the week. We got one more coming. Tomorrow will be uh, Patrick Queen, and then we'll be done for the week because Friday is Christmas. And um, before I get out of here, if I don't say it again or I don't see you again, Merry Christmas to all. Oh, forgot to tell y'all. Peace.